The reality is that most companies, especially most supply chain departments, are absolutely have zero financial KPIs. You see, the very frequently what will happen is that you just check whether you are compliant with the rules that you've made up for yourself. Mm. And that's it. So you see, uh, here you're saying, oh, we, 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 have, we, we are profitable. But, but again, most supply chain divisions are just checking whether uh, they are compliant with their own percentages. So for example, they would say, oh, we need 97% service, service levels. levels. And then they will do things. And at the end of the day, they would say, oh, we are very good. Look, we have achieved 97% level. The fact that we earn money or lost money is irrelevant. You're counting percentages, not dollars. I mean, mo very, very few companies that I know beyond the clients, the clients of that we have yeah. uh, are actually considering any kind of financial metrics for their supply chain. You know, it's usually completely absent. Mm. They will think uh, in terms of uh, inventory turns. Mm. Uh, they will think in terms of service levels. Uh, they will differentiate those service levels indeed by ABC classes mm. and whatnot. But you see, it's not because you set for yourself an arbitrary target of service level, and then you declare victory when mm. you reach these arbitrary targets. Um, you can assume that being compliant with your own target is somehow correlated with the profitability of the company, mm. but that's a very bold assumption.